Hello everybody, welcome to another series of tutorials on how to apply to that scholarship in Germany. If you want to study your master's or PhD degree through a prestigious scholarship program in Germany that pays for your accommodation, your fees, your health insurance, your travel, and even provides you extra money so that you learn German only if you want and also provide you the opportunity to have internships and work in Germany and more than everything provide you the opportunity to take your spouse and your children with you along the journey when you are in Germany and studying then that scholarship is definitely for you. And who are we? We are here, together with my colleagues who we are running this channel, to help you step by step to get this scholarship and study in Germany. In the beginning, let me give you an overview of this video or tutorial. What are we going to see in the next few minutes? First, we are going to head to the scholarship website. We will get an overview of the application, the requirements, the eligibility and everything that is needed and required. Second, we will get an in-depth overview of the program, the objectives, who can apply, what can be funded, duration of the funding and the value that it's uh, paid, the selection criteria, what you need to prepare. Third, we will have an application or a requirement, uh, an overview based on our country. Fourth, we will go to application procedure. Again, we choose our country and then it's different uh, based on different countries. Fifth, we will have contact and counseling overview very shortly. And finally, we will go to submitting an application. If you are still here, this means that you are interested to apply to this scholarship program. And we are here to help you step by step to write your personal statement or statement of purpose, your CV, because in that scholarship, you have to have uh, a CV in the format of Europass, which we will have a complete tutorial on how to write your CV in Europass format, uh, step by step tutorial on how to apply to the universities that you want to apply based on your field and also how to write your personal statement or a statement of purpose and also the process how to fill the DAP scholarship program application. Everything that I have said, including the links that I'm going to talk about, the links you can find them in the descriptions below. Beside everything, before we dive into this tutorial, I kindly request you all to like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit the ring button, and write your comments in the comment section below. Let's dive deep in and start talking about that scholarship. The first link in the descriptions below will take you to this place. Here we go to the objective and all the overview and the details of this program. First, who can apply? Excellent qualified graduates who have completed a first degree. A first degree for all of us is definitely a bachelor's degree, a three year or a four years of, uh, you know, university degree. And the good thing about this is that you don't have to have your degree at the moment with you. You only need to have, as it says here, at the latest by the time they commence their scholarship supported study program. For example, if you apply for next year, the classes starts, the courses starts in October, 1st of October. So you are, for, for example, you apply one year ahead of the program. You don't have to be graduated now, or you don't have to be graduated by the deadline of submission of obligations you can be graduated like a month before uh, your studies start in Germany. This is the good thing about that scholarship, which I love it. Please be careful not to confuse yourself with the fact that there are different requirements for different majors. Some different majors might require you to have at least 
two years of work experience after you achieve your bachelor's degree. Which means when you got your bachelor's degree, you cannot apply until two years have passed and you have gained two years of work experience after your university graduation. Other issue for those who can apply is that for applicants from artistic disciplines and field of architecture, the DAD has totally another process for them, which is, I believe, easier, and uh, we will have other videos talking about them too. Okay, and what can be funded? So, participation in a postgraduate program, just a master degree or a postgraduate program, and uh, you know, propose of a technical or a scientific specialization, any field that you we normally like, we from developing countries, we want to go on and take uh, and study for our master's degree. What can be funded? Obviously, and sh I just make a chart: a master's degree in Germany, simply. And duration of the funding, it's um, 10 to 24 months, of course not 10 months, let's say one year to two year. My field, it's one year as a law student, uh, but for other majors, probably it's two years. And that scholarship will provide funding for two years during your stay in Germany. If you are supposed to study or learn German, then definitely uh, the scholarship program will provide you um, extra payment for the duration of your study if it's normally like six months or four months before your lessons commences you're supposed to come to Germany and start your uh, German classes so German the DAP scholarship will pay you for the expenses and will provide you visa for this duration as well. And now let's talk about the value of this scholarship. So scholarship payments of 861 euros a month. This is your stipend, monthly stipend. Payments towards health, accident or and personal liability insurance cover. You have to pay like almost 200 uh, euros every month. But uh, you know, this that scholarship covers that expenses, which is very good travel allowance to your country and back to here and uh, one off study allowance that it will be paid at once for you and under certain circumstances the scholarship holders may receive the following additional payments monthly rent subsidy monthly allowance for accompanying members of family this is the good thing that you can take your, your, your spouse your children or your child if you have one the good thing is you can take them with you along this journey when you are studying in Germany, which is why I highly, highly recommend for those applicants that uh, are looking to apply to Chevening Scholarship in the UK or Fulbright in the USA to apply to that scholarship because those two scholarships, they don't provide you this kind of, uh, you know, additional benefits as that does. Please, uh, stick to this channel and watch other videos concerning the application form and statement of purpose and other CV and other required documents to be able to apply. I wish you best of luck and success. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, hit the ring button next to this subscribe uh, button and watch our other videos. Thank you very much. I love you to the moon and back and wish you best of luck.